Welcome all. So today I am going to tell you about a SQL debugging error that I encountered during my Visual Studio 2019 project, which has got a, a solution that contains the two projects, the same two projects that I showed you last time when I encountered inadvertently a SQL stored procedure that the stored procedure was not found. And I found that, you know, um, most of you have liked this video and thanks very much to the community for supporting me. Now here today, uh, what I found that, you know, while I tried to add an order for a customer that I thought that it, he was existing, but the customer ID was not existing, customer was not existing and I had enforced referential integrity. So it came up with a um, SQL error within the Visual Studio. So let me switch over to Visual Studio and share my experience about how I, uh, you could simulate that kind of error, better to avoid that kind of error. But if you ever encounter that type of error, please don't uh, worry. And uh, if you follow these steps, you should be able to sort it out very easily. So over to the Visual Studio. So I've run my Visual Studio project and browse to the um, Chrome browser with the, this uh, API. This is a, actually um, a project with a solution with two projects and both has to simultaneously start up. So when the API is running, you can actually communicate through your MVC ASP.NET Core client by clicking here. And what I did was, so, I had gone to this order page, go to this order page, and I tried to add an order with this customer, with customer ID one and something like this, and an order amount that I picked from the, uh, you know, suggested. And when I tried to click on the order, now here is the fun. The insert statement conflicted with the foreign key constraint fk order customer the conflict order in the database and now this has occurred because without seeing whether the customer id did exist i tried to create um, an order for a non-existence customer because i have enforced referential integrity with foreign key constraint which i'll show now let me first fix the error and then i will come back okay so I just close this application, stop debugging. Now, as you can see that there is no customer having an ID of one. So if I go to the order page, I pick up one of the IDs for an existing customer. And if I click on add order, and if I say for a customer with ID seven, which actually exists, you put some descriptions and an order amount and click on add order it adds to the order okay so now let me show you how i enforce the referential integrity so here is the sql server management studio and i have opened and expanded this web api db which is the database for this project now this is the order table and customer so order table has got a if you look to this order table it has got a customer id as a foreign key now this is fk order customer and if i script it as create to new query editor in window this will make everything clear for you so you can see this is the uh, order table dbo.order this is the script for this foreign key with check add constraint, FK order customer foreign key is customer ID on this order table. So obviously, if I uh, want to create an order with a customer that is not existing, so it will come with an error. But sometimes we do inadvertently make this mistake without looking at whether the customer is existing in the database or not. So hope this debugging session is of some help to you. So. Please subscribe to my channel if you like it and share it with your friends and put your comments. Thank you.